Hello everybody, how are you? How are you doing my best learners? It's Murat Sultan is really again with you. Just today we will see new lecture. Uh, deals with uh, transforming shapes. Okay? So please all the students try to put your, uh, your student book on your table. Okay? And take a pen and some, uh, let's say, uh, some sheet of papers. Okay? And we start together doing this lecture. Okay? Can we start? Okay, so today is Monday, okay, 20 April 2020, class 6, teacher Murad Sultan Ezrili, HSM. Okay, first of all, we start by the first transformation, which is called a translation. Okay, so first of all, what is a translation, my kids? A translation is what? A translation means also slide. Okay? Means also slide. Okay? For example, me, I am now on the ground. And on the ground there is a coordinate grid. There are some squares. Okay? I will try to, if I'm supposed that I am an object, then I'm gonna to move two units to the right. So one. Two, okay. You can see that this is now the image. The first image of the first object moves to units to that. This is means translation, means that the object will move regarding to the number of units in the x direction and to the number of the y. Uh, yes, to the number of units in the y direction. Okay, either left or right for x axis. And the y axis it will be up or down. Okay? So we told that translation is a shift. Our translation, my kids, is what? Is a shift. Okay? By a certain distance. Means that translation keeps the same distance of the okay. distance in a particular direction. Okay? Then the orientation and the size of the shape remain in changing, invariant. Okay, in changing means invariant. Okay, invariant. Okay. For example, let's shift this. This is the shape. This shape that is shaded blue, or this blue shape it. shape I will try to translate three units to down okay translate one translate the shape okay translate the shape three units down in the y direction in the Y direction. Okay. Means what? Means. means I will try to move the shape. Move three units down. For example, if you are gonna start from this point. So this point has to move how many units? Down three units. This is one unit, then two units, then Two units, then three units. So this one, after translating the image of this point, is this. So this is three units. Okay? Then, for example, if you choose another point, for example, this one, this point, my kids, I will try to translate this unit or to slide this unit, three units in the y direction. Okay? If we suppose that is, this is to the y. This is the x direction. And this one, my kids, is what? Is the y direction. Okay? Now, I will try <coughs> to slide, to move this point three units down in the y direction. So, let's do this one, this point. It will be like that. This is one square, two square, three square. You can see this. 
the energy of this point is that. Okay? And another, the second one, also one square or okay. One unit, two unit, three unit. So each point moves three units down in the y direction. Okay? So this is, is called what? This is my kids is called image. The image. The image of shape of the shape of that translation three units down in the y direction. Okay? Image. Image. Okay, and this is the object. This is object. The object that I will try to translate it or to slide it three units down in the y direction. Okay, let's do some exercises. Okay, here we have here we have a triangle ABC such that the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. It has two sides equal in length and two internal angles are equal. Okay? You can see that the distance AB is equal to the distance BC and means that the side of the line segment BC is equal to the line segment AB and what about this angle? This angle also is equal to this it's called isosceles triangle okay? This one is an isosceles triangle the question is what? This one is what my kids? Isosceles. Isosceles what? Isosceles. Isosceles triangle. Okay. Now, if I will suppose that is the y-axis, this is y-axis, and this one is what? And this one is x axis. Okay? So, perform the following transformation on triangle ABC. Start with the original triangle. This one, ABC, is my original triangle or is the object. Okay, what is the question? Translation to a units to the right in the x direction in the x direction means what? means that this isosceles triangle will move two units to the right in the x axis not in the y axis in the x axis means you will move uh, for example any unit to the left or to the right okay? this is the x axis if you will translate a shape in the x-axis, either you will move to the right or to the left. But for in the y-axis, my kids, in the y-axis means what? If we are going to, let's say, draw the image of a shape, for example, in the y-axis, this is depends on the unit. If they are up or down, means this is up. And this one is down, okay? This is y axis, y axis, okay? And this is the translation. Either can be up or down, okay? Now we translate this shape, this triangle, to use to the right in the x direction. What is x direction? This is x direction. I will start, for example, from the point A, okay? A moves how many units? Two units. This is one unit. Two units. So the, the point A, my kids, the image of A is C. I will label it as A prime. Means the image of A after translating two units to the right in the x axis is A prime. Then for B, I will move one unit or one square. Two square. Okay, let's see the point. B prime, okay, means the point B, my kids, moves or slides to units to the right in the x axis. You see the x axis, okay. And the last point, 
H, H, C, C moves, you see the point C, C moves one unit to the right, then two units to the right. So this one is called C prime. Now my kids, I will, I will draw the image, okay, like that. This is, this is my triangle, okay? So you can see this is, is equal to this, and this angle is also equal to the, the next angle. Why? Because it's isosceles triangle, okay? This one means that the triangle ABC is translated to units to the, to the right in the x-axis, in the x-axis. You see the x axis. Okay. You see the x axis. And this one is what? Is the y axis. Okay. So, the next example. Here also, the uh, perform the following transformation on triangle ABC. Start with the original triangle. This is my object. Now I will from, I will try to translate this triangle, the isosceles triangle, three units to the right and four units to the three units to the right and four units down. Okay, and four units down. Okay, four units, four units down. Okay, let's do it. I will start from which point? From this point. It will move how many units to the right in the x axis? This is in the y axis. The y in the y axis in the y direction. In the y direction. And this one, the first, is in in the x direction. X direction. Okay. Okay, first of all, I will just write like that. Do like that. This is what? This is y axis. And this one is what? Is x x axis. Okay. I will start from which point? From, from B. So, three units to the right in the X direction. Okay, one unit, two unit. Okay, this is one, this is two, and this is three. Okay, now I move it. Three units to the right, this is three units to the right in the X direction. Now I will move or slide down four units in the y direction this is one unit this is two this is three this is four so this point b this point b my kids it will be b prime okay and for the point c i will move one unit then two unit then three unit to the right in the x in the x direction then i will move down four units in the y direction okay in the y we call that one one two three four so one two three one two three four okay so this point is called what is called okay it's called c prime and just this one I'm going to change the color. Okay. And this one is C prime. Now for the last point, I will move one square, then two square, then three square. Okay? Then I will move down three, four units in the Y direction. This is one, two, three, four. This is four units. And this is one, two, three is three units. Okay. 
So the single point one to point A prime. Now I can draw the image. Okay, this is my key. This is the image of this. Okay. So this triangle is the image of that. Okay. The next. Now perform the following transformation on triangle ABC and then try to translate what this isosceles triangle for units down means what for units down minus I will move the triangle the isosceles triangle for units down in the y direction in the y direction okay so okay means this one my x is what is the y axis and this one is what is the x axis okay i will slide or i will translate this isosceles triangle four units down in the y Right, good boy. Okay, so I will start from this point. I will move immediately four. One, two, three, four. So this point I will label as C prime. As this is C, so this is C prime. C prime is the image of C after translation for units down in the, in the y direction okay then for b b it will move four units down in the y direction this is the y direction okay so two three and four i will label as what as b prime means the b prime is the image of b okay is the image of b then the last point a we move four units down in the y direction so this is one unit two units three units and this one is four units so we label this as a prime so a prime my x is the image of a after translation four units down in the y direction okay in the y direction okay now as i let's say slide this as i slide all the points or all the vertices vertices of the isosceles triangle into a prime b prime c prime now i will try to do what i will try to join the points of the vertices to draw the image of the object. This is my piece. Is the image of this object. Okay? Then, an exercise. Translate the shape A, three units, three units left. Left in the y direction or in the x direction? Left in the in the x-axis this is x-axis and four units down in the y direction in the y direction okay this is one so i will start from this point we told three units left i will start from this point okay i will move three units left okay in the x direction, this is x direction, this is one unit, two unit, and three units. Then I will immediately move four units down in the y direction. Four units down in the y direction. Four units down in the y direction means this is one unit, this is two unit, this is three unit, and this is four unit. So this point, my kids, is the image of that, okay? I will make it as, okay, this one I will make as red box. So the image of this is that, 
this point moves three units left, three units left, and four units down. Okay? Three units left and four units down. Then the next one, the second point. This one, it will move three units to the left in the x direction. One unit, two unit, three unit. Then it will move four units down in the y direction. One, two, three, and this is four. So this point, the image of this point after translating three units left in the, in the x axis and four units down in the y axis is the blue one. Okay? Now the last one, I will move. So three units, I will start from that. One, okay, two, okay, three means this point moves three units left in the x axis. Then how many units down in the y axis? One, two, three, and four. So this one makes the image of the green point. Okay, now I will do what? I will try to join the points just like that. Okay. This is my kids in the image. I will label as A prime. Means A prime is a triangle. That is the image of the original triangle, which is F. Okay? The next. Okay. Transforming shapes. Okay, page 126. So. Triangle cat is mapped into triangle C prime A prime T prime. Describe fully this transformation. Okay. This triangle, my kids, this is A. Okay. This is A. This is T. This is C. And this is T prime, means the image of T. After translating, you will see how many units to the left, to the right, up, or down, or the middle, you will see. Okay? And this is C prime, and this is A prime. Okay. Now, let's see how many units this triangle cat, cat moves to the left, to the right, in the X direction, and moves up. In the y direction, how many units? Okay, let's do it. We start, we start from a point, for example, T. This is T, and this is its image, T prime. We'll see this point T, how many units moves to the right in the x axis, and how many units moves uh, in the y direction. So, I will start from this point. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. In the y, in the x axis, this point T moves for you. Okay? To the right in the x axis. And how many are? How many are? Sorry? Yes, sorry here. Yes, I will leave this. The last one. Three units only. Okay. So, we thought this point moves one unit, two unit, three units to the right, three units to the right, and the x axis. And this one, y axis. Okay. So, and how many are in the y direction? One, two, three, and four. Means the, the point. The vertex T moves three units to the right in the x direction and four units are up in the y direction. Okay? For example, if we like to check from this one, okay, I will move this point. It will move one unit to a unit and three unit. Okay? See three unit. And how many are? One, two, three, and four. So we can conclude that the triangle cat is moved or is translated 
3 units in the x direction, 3 units to the right in the x direction, and 4 units up in the y direction. Okay, as a conclusion, a translation, it's our triangle. Triangle, triangle, that is sliced or is moved or is translated, translated, three units, where, to the right, in which, the, uh, in which, uh, in which direction? In which axis direction? Right? In the x direction. In the x direction. And how many? And how many units? Up and four units. Four units up in the y direction in the y direction okay so it's a translation as a conclude therefore it's a translation 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 three right and four up okay the next Now we will see, let's say, the next transformation, okay, which is a rotation. In fact, a rotation is what? A rotation is a turn by some angle about a given point. If you would like to return, let's say, a shape, you need what? If you, let's say, would like to retain a shape, you need an angle of, angle of rotation. Okay. And what else? And you need what? You need the center of rotation. Center of rotation. Rotation. Means that the center of rotation means the point in which you are gonna rotate the original shape. Okay. So the shape is we told that, we told that rotation is a term by some angle. About what? About a given point. A given point is what is the center of center of rotation. Okay. So then the shape is otherwise unchanged. If you rotate the shape, the rotation keeps the same size. Okay, of the shape and keeps the angles also and keeps the distances. So, for example, rotate 90 degree clockwise. 90 degree, this is clockwise. This arrow means clockwise. This one means clock, clockwise. Means from left to the right, okay? About the center, about this center, this is the center, the red point. The red point, this one, okay? The red point, my kids, is the center. Is the center okay? This is what is the center of my rotation. Center of transformation of rotation. We can see that this shape okay is rotated 90 degree clockwise, 90 degree clockwise about the center that is the point that is colored red about the center of rotation. Okay. Uh -huh. So this one is the image. This is the red one is the image. And this one, the black is what? The black. Okay. The black is the object. Object means that you rotate objects E C T. Okay, so means that this object has been rotated 90 degree clockwise above the center, which is covered with red. Okay.
we see the means of rotation. So you need what? An angle of rotation and what else? And the center of rotation. Two things that you should know about that if you would like to rotate a shape. Okay. Now uh, the size perform the following transformation on triangle ABC. This one is an isosceles triangle. Start with the original triangle 90 degree clockwise about the vertex A. So, angle of rotation is what? Angle of rotation, my kids, is, is equal to what? Is equal to 90 degree. And center of rotation is what? Center of rotation is is the point A what is A here? this one okay this is the center okay this is the center of center of rotation center okay and the angle is 90 degree meaning that and this is A isn't it? in order to and this is say, isn't it? In order to my kids to retain this one, this line segment AC. Sorry. Okay, line segment AC clockwise 90 degree above the center. I mean this line. This line I will make like that. Okay, this line, this line segment will rotate it. What? 90 degree okay it will be here okay so this is the image you can see this is 90 degree okay and this is c prime so the image of c rotated about the center a 90 degree clockwise so the, the image of c is this one and they form they form a 90 degree at what at the vertex a okay Good boy. And what else? This one it will be like that. And this point, let's say this one, A, B, A, B, C, B. Let's say it will be rotated 90 degree. Okay? It will be rotated 90 degree. So it will be like that. This is also, this is also 90 degree. Okay, and this is what? This is B prime. Now you can now draw your your isosceles triangle. Okay, so this one, the image of this after rotating about the center, 90 degree clockwise. Okay, then. Okay, now we move to reflection. What is the meaning of reflection? It's a transformation. Okay, but it's what? So we can uh, see that a reflection is a flip about some arbitrary axis. The shape is otherwise enchanted. Example, reflect about the red axis. Okay. Now, if this one my kids denotes or represent the at the y axis, and this one is what is the x axis. Okay, so the red, the red shape is the image of the black one. Okay, after reflection in the y axis. Y axis, for example, here I will do it. This is, for example, zero. Okay, this is zero. This is, okay, this is zero. Mm -hmm. This is one, that's a moon. Okay. For example, this one, my kids. Okay. This one is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five, and so on. And this one is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six, and so on. Okay. So, who can receive the what? This is 
they see the mirror line or line of reflection. This one is what I will write it here is mirror mirror line or line of line of reflection L I N E line of reflection. Okay. Line of line of reflection. Okay. So if we would like to transform to, trans to transform this object after reflection, you need what? You need line of reflection or a mirror line. So the mirror line the equation of the mirror line is what? We see the y-axis. So y equal what? Y equal 4. The mirror line my kids here is this one. This line is y equal 4. So now the question is try to transform this shape after reflection in the line y equal 4. Okay, and draw its image. Okay, first of all, if you would like to start from this point, two things you should know about. You will draw a perpendicular line to the mirror line or to the line of reflection. This is 90 degree. Then you should keep the same distance. For example, here how many units? One unit, two units. So you should move one unit to unit, okay? From this point. So this point, the image of uh, this image is this. Okay? And we keep the same distance. This is two units and this is also two units. Okay, I'll just make like that. Means that the distance from this point to the line to the point that is lying on the mirror line on the line of reflection is the same as this point to the point that is lies on the line of reflection. And also here for example, this one 90 degree. And this is one unit to the mirror line, so we should also only draw one unit. This is also 90 degree. You can see this is my line. And so on. Okay? For example, this point. How many units to the mirror line? One, two, three. So we should draw a line segment that is perpendicular. Perpendicular. And how many units you got? One, three. So this is three. You should also keep the same distance from the line of reflection to the image means one two three so this point is the image of that after a reflection in the line after reflection in the line of reflection y equal four okay so this one my kids the red one this one is the image of the object after reflection and the reflection in the line y equal what y equal 4 ok now perform the following transformation on the triangle ABC as an exercise uh -huh. ABC is triangle is an exercise triangle start with the original triangle a reflection over AC uh -huh. reflection over AC this is the mirror line I see now is representing the mirror line. Okay, the green one is the mirror mirror line. Precisely is AC. AC is the mirror line. AC. So you can see that if we would like to reflect, to reflect this point in the mirror line you can see that this point is belongs to the mirror line mean that this point a lies on the mirror line so we now need to transform it okay it will be on the same point on the same position then see also lies on the on the mirror line so the image of c in the uh, on the mirror line will be the same c okay but b if you like to draw the image of this you will draw perpendicular line to the line same with AC because the green line is called the mirror line then you should keep the same distance this is one unit you also should move here one unit and label as for example B prime then you can notice this one the distance from this point my kids to this is equal the distance from this point to that okay so 
Then just join the vertices of so this one like this is the image. This one is the image. Okay. After reflecting on the mirror line. Okay. Now I reflect the shape A. You see we have a shape, 2D shape, A triangle. In the line x equal 1 and y equal negative 1. We have two lines of reflection. The first line is what? <clears throat> x equal 1. This is my kid. My kids is x. X equal what? Equal 1. This is x equal 1. You will try to reflect this triangle in the line of reflection x equal 1. You will do what exactly? This, the first vertex of the triangle, <clears throat> how many units to the, to, the mirror, to the line of reflection is only one unit. Okay, you will draw a perpendicular line like that. This is 90 degree. Then you should keep the same distance from this to that and from the line segment, sorry, from from what? From the point on the line of reflection to the image. Okay, this one and so on like this. So you can see this distance is equal to this, and also this is 90 degrees. Okay, so this is this is the image of that after reflecting in the line of reflection x equal one. Then the next this point, my kids, belongs to it. No change. This point belongs to the mirror line to the line of reflection. So it will be the same. But here, how many units? One. Two, three. So I should move three units to the left. One, two, three. So this one like this. Now I will try to join the points. Sorry, one, two, three. Yes. Okay, this is, sorry, this one is the image of my triangle. Okay, in the x axis. In the, the x equal one. In the line of reflection x equal Okay, the next one. Now we try to draw the image of this triangle. I will label this one as B. Okay, I will now try to reflect the shape in the line of reflection y equal negative one. This is the y axis, isn't it? This is y axis, and this one is x axis. What is my kids uh, y equal negative one? This one. This one is is what is y equal equal negative one so here you are tending <coughs> to reflect the shape in the line of in the line of so to be one two three okay so how can we do it here mm -hmm. Okay, equal one or negative one? Because if it is one, if it is negative one, this point it will be okay. Then look, this is the mirror line. I will move two units down. Okay, in the y direction. This is ninety degree, means the angle that makes with this line of reflection is ninety. Also, this is two units, and this is also should be two units. This distance is equal to that. Then the second one also, two units down in the y-axis. This is 90 degree, and this is also two units down in the y-axis. Okay, this is we told, okay, this, this M and this point, it's MG in that. This one is the image of that after reflection in the line of reflection y equal negative one. And this point, it will be one, two, three, four. So it will be one, two, three, four. It will be okay. So this one I will change it by y equal y equal one. And this one my kids because the image of this it will be a down. So good morning. So I will change this one. It will be just raise this. 
Okay, I will just erase the last one. Okay. So this one, my kids, I will make, I will make equal one. This one. Okay. Y equal equal one. Y equal one. Okay. So this is y. This is y. So this one is y. Y equal one. Okay. So now this point belongs to that. This is the same. And here how many units? One, two, three. This is ninety degree, and this is also two units. So now we just draw my my triangle. This is the triangle, the edge of this in the line, in the line of reflection y equal one. Because if you suppose that is y equal negative one, the the image of this point will be very down. And we disagree. Let's say uh, can let's say if we if we like to draw the image of this. So we need, we need, let's say, at least three other squares, okay? So I will change it by y equal one, okay? The next. Now move to your uh, student book, okay? Page 127. This is a draw a triangle on the 6 by 6 degree. This is 6 by 6 degree. 1 square, 2 square, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, okay? Now, translate it, rotate it, and, and until you have a design you think it's attractive or interesting. Okay, first of all, let's translate the shape, one square up, and, and, okay, one square up, it will be like that, and one to that, means, this point, my kids, So means this point we move one unit up and one left. So it will be like that. And also this point moves okay one up and one to the left. So this is the image after translating. After translating one unit okay one unit to the right and one unit up. Okay? Then, for example, now I will rotate this shape, the yellow one. I will rotate about the point, this point, 90 degree clockwise, 90 degree clockwise about this point. So this one it will be like that. This side to it, it will be here. Okay. Then this point. So I will call this one to be here and this one like that and this is the rotation about the center 90 degree clockwise. Now I will reflect this one my kids. I will try to reflect it. This is okay, this is the mirror line. Mirror line, okay, mirror. And I will try to, <coughs> to reflect the, the yellow uh, shape and the uh, mirror line. So this one it will be here, this point will be here, okay. This point will be here, why? Because two units to the mirror line, they should move two units to the mirror line. And this is only one, one unit. So this one, okay. So this is what? This is the reflection, the image of the yellow one and the reflection and then the mirror line. Okay. Question number two. Uh, a, B, C, D are the vertices, vertices of a rectangle. A and B are shown on the grid. This is A. Okay. And this is B. This is A. This is B. You can see A of coordinates what? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4. This is 0. Okay, so one, two, three, 
four, this is five, this is six, this is seven. Okay. And this is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this one is eight. So now our target or our purpose is to draw a rectangle. Mm -hmm. D is the point at 3, 4. 3, 4, 3, 4. This is the point D. I mean D. Move us. 3 units to the right in the X direction and 4 units are in the Y direction. Okay. What, what is the coordinates of the point C? Okay. So here just join the points. The, it will be like that. Okay, then we need what? We need a rectangle. So this one, my kids, is a rectangle. And this point has a coordinate of what? 5 and 2. Good one. 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Okay, this is the other pair of coordinates, 5 and 2, of this point C. ABC is reflected in the y axis. What are the coordinates on the image? In the y-axis. This is the y-axis. This is now the y-axis. You will now try to reflect this here. This point, how many units to the middle line 3? So I will move here 3. You see the point? B prime. I will make B prime. And this one? D. Sir. This is, okay. Yes, this is D. This is D, okay. This is D, correct? This is the my kids, the point D. Okay, A, B, C, this is the point C, and this is D. So, this one. So, we call the point. So, this is the image. It will be D of coordinates 1. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, it will be my kids, negative 3, 4. Negative 3, 4. This point is named as D prime is negative 3, 4. Okay. Then, for the next point, it will be 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one minus. It will be A prime. Of course, the next one. A prime is coordinates negative 4, 5. Negative 4, 5. Okay. Then the point C. 1 in 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one. So this point is C. Of coordinates 1. Of coordinates we thought. This is negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 3. Negative 4. Negative 5. Of coordinates. Negative 5. 2. Negative 5. 2. Yes. Okay. And the last point, so this one, like that. The last, the, it will be B prime, B prime of coordinates. We thought this is, okay, this is negative five, this is negative six. Negative six and three. Okay? That's the coordinates of this one and that the mirror line of the Y, the line of reflection Y equal x equals 0. Okay. Now we have an exercise. Recognize how each shape has transferred that. Right, it is, it is translation or reflection or rotation. Okay. This one, in your opinion, it is translation or reflection. Look, this point moves to that. So, 1 in, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 units. To the right in the x direction. And how many up? Two units up. Two units up. Okay. In the y direction. So it is a translation. So it will be translation. Translation. Then this one, my kids. This shape is reflected under the mirror line. Okay. Y equals 0. This is y equals 0 or the x axis as you like. So it will be a reflection. And this one, you can see this, is rotated. Is rotated. This one is rotated, it was here like that. Then 
This one is rotated, okay, on clockwise, okay, it's rotated by on clockwise. So it is reflection, translation, rotation, good word, rotation. The next. Here we have a shape. It was a rotation. It was rotated. So rotation. And this one, you can see it is a translation. Look, let's start from this point. One in, two, three, three down, and one in, two, three, four, five. Okay? So this five means three units down and the six three units to the to the left. So it is a translation. It's a translation. And the last one, this is K L M N. This is okay. K prime uh, M uh, K prime L prime M prime N prime. So it is a reflection or rotation or translation. We can see that this is the x axis. Okay, x equal to one. Yes, it's a reflection. Okay, in the line x equal to one. Okay. And now we have another example also. This one, it's a reflection or translation or rotation. It's a reflection. Okay. You can see this point. This is 90 degrees. This is also this one equal to this. This is, is 90 degrees. This is also this one equal to this. So this one is a, a reflection. Okay, this one my kids. It's a reflection. Let's check. We see the x-axis. The y equal x. This is y equal x. So this point. Okay. And if it is a reflection, now this is not a reflection, that's a moon. Okay, this one, 90 degree. Now this is, my kids, is a rotation. It's a rotation. Sure. Yes. This is a rotation about the zero. This point is that. Yes, okay. okay. And this point on S3 will be like that. Okay. And this point here. And this point, then this one. JK. That's a move. I will make like that. And the last one like that. Okay? So this is a rotation about what? What is the center? About the origin. 180 about the origin. The origin. The origin means coordinates of zero zero. Okay? This is the origin. Okay, this is the center of rotation. And this one is rotated 180 degree. 180 degree. The second one. This is its translation. Look, this point, for example, one, two, three, three up in the y direction. And how many units to the right? So one, two, three, four, five. So it will be translation. Okay. So this one about what about transforming shapes. Thank you for listening. It's much fun again with you. Please try to uh, concentrate on the lecture. And if you have doubt, don't hesitate to ask push. Okay? Thank you and goodbye.